up guys, Inigami here, and let's go through 60 stamina Blackbeard Raid Boss on the Japanese version of One Piece Treasure Cruise against Blackbeard. We're going to be using Whitebeard Marco because obviously the natural enemy to Blackbeard is Whitebeard and Marco. We're going to be using the Arc Maxim ship specifically to kill stage 3. is going to make it a lot easier to deal with that. We're also using Barto Captain. And we're going to be stalling a lot on these early stages. We're going to be stalling a lot on, on stage 1 and 2. Because we're going to want to get our Ambush Whitebeard Specials max. And also our Arc Maxim Ship max. Arc Maxim Ship max by stage 3. And then we're good to go. Uh, so stay here, stage 1. We're going to look for some recovery orbs. Remember that Whitebeard Marco. If you're on Whitebeard, you take less damage. If you're on Marco, then you'll get higher recovery. And our Garp is basically, uh, our, our Garp basically does no damage. Our Garp is only boosted by, well, our Garp's boosted by both, I lied. This is, I'm thinking of a different team. So we'll leave it on Whitebeard, we'll attack with our weakest character, just a little bit of damage here. I do want to take damage from this guy in the back. He will blind at about 30% health. So it's not all the way until about 30% health that he actually blinds you. Up until then, you can get you can get him below 50% just fine. Even with the blind, it's a five-turn blind, so we're going to be focusing on him. Take the blind, and then we're going to uh, kill the turtles while we're blinded and kill him after that. We'll swap back over to Whitebeard, take less damage, take hit from these two. If you don't have Ambush Whitebeard skilled up, totally reasonable the next best thing to do is use uh magellan either magellan friend captain even magellan zombie teams actually work really well uh it, with the right setup magellan zombie team you don't really have to stall for much so since we're stalling for 24 turns heat here magellan zombie teams actually kind of are just as fast as getting through this it's actually not too bad so magellan zombie team is not the worst thing in the world for this fight Pretty reasonable compared to the free to play version. Um, if you have rare, if you have a full rare recruit team, a Blackbeard, Whitebeard, Marco team is really, really nice. Uh, another team that you can use is. I'm gonna heal here before I keep talking. Uh, other teams you can use are like Double Shear, Hoshi, Magellan, also really nice. And the reason we're using all these weird teams is that our. You can't use any type or orb boost on the final stage. You can't use type boost, you can't use orb boost, and you can't use damage reducing specials. So you can't use um, Barto special, you can't use percent damage reduction, you can't use damage negation specials. Any specials that reduce your damage do not work because Blackbeard is going to clear your buffs if you use any of those specials and shuffle your orbs. But you can use healing specials like Whitebeard Marco special. Stage 2, we're going to get paralyzed. We're going to swap over to Marco. You kind of want to be on Whitebeard whenever you go into here so you can swap to Whitebeard and have more damage on your characters, but it really doesn't matter. It's okay. Kill the red guy up front first. The red guy actually has a fair amount of health. Start punching the guys in the back. By now, your Arc Maxim ship should be ready. If your Arc Maxim ship is ready, then you're good to go. We can go on to the next stage. And we're just going to use Arc Maxim special to kill the next stage. Um, I may have wanted to leave it. No, we're okay. We're gonna kill him. Stage three. Actually, these guys actually have a fair amount of like they actually have really high defense. If you're not ready for this stage, you can die to them very easily. Uh, they are going to preemptively paralyze you for two turns. You can swap with Whitebeard Marco once. You actually don't need to even swap here, but I do want to be on um, Marco whenever you go kill this stage because we want to be on Whitebeard on the start of next stage. So if you're already Marco, you don't need to swap because you only need to reduce paralysis by one turn. You use the Arc Maxim ship that will kill everybody. They have about 10,000 hit points or so. Or they have they have 50,000 hit points. Seahorse has 6 hit points. Everyone else has 50,000 hit points uh, and actually a lot of defense. So be prepared. You may not have the damage to actually get through there. On stage four, we're gonna switch back to Whitebeard and just attack them. You can either attack the guy up front or the girl in the back. The girl in the back has less health, um, and I'm gonna be focusing on her. And they do have damage threshold, about a hundred thousand damage threshold. 
So she is going to heal back up. We're not going to be able to kill her this turn. Oh, hey. I killed her that turn. Cool. <laughs> Never mind, I take it back. You can totally kill her like that. Um, I really thought she'd survive with a little bit of health. Uh, I guess I had badly matched orbs in that last time. If she survives, it's okay. She'll heal back up most of her health, and then you'll attack her some more. Um, all you'll do is use Barto special at some point during this stage. So if you don't have much health going into here, which you should, you can use Barto special. Use Barto special before you leave this stage, because if you use it later on, uh, we're not going to get the damage threshold anyway. So we'll just use Barto here. And then kill this stage. And now you've basically beaten the game. If you need to stall more for Whitebeard special, stall more here before you use Barto special. And just use Barto in order to get your Whitebeard ready. Once your Whitebeard is ready, whatever turn he's on, you get here, you use all your health cuts. Boom to boom to boom. Health cut, health cut, health cut. Health cut. Whenever we use our 25% health cut here, we're going to get damage reduction. He is going to clear our buffs. Boop. And shuffle our orbs. And then we'll use Whitebeard Marco, who will also heal us because we do need to have a certain amount of health. Whenever Blackbeard dies, Blackbeard has 25 million hit points, a lot of health. He has a special interrupt, which uh, if you use a type boost, or boost, damage, neg damage threshold, damage reduction specials, he will clear your buffs and also shuffle your orbs. He attacks every two turns for 16,000 damage, and whenever he dies, he's going to do 23,850 damage to you. Which, since you can't use damage reducing specials, you're going to need to have a lot of health in order to take it. And below 50% health, he will blind you for 11 turns and limit you to one special per turn for 11 turns. And whenever he dies, he's going to revive and have only 250,000 hit points basically no hit points you have two turns to kill him even after the revive so you can just attack him the only way you're really going to die here after the revive is if you have a leftover bomb orb or two and you accidentally blow yourself up with that bomb orb that's one way you could die but other than that once you've killed him once you can just attack him again with any team at all don't need a single special and you can take him out no problem very, very, for, for the new fight, it's very intimidating for 25 million hit points and not being able to use a type boost or an orb boost. It's really intimidating, but it's not too bad. There's a lot of teams that can beat this. Oh my goodness, there's so many teams that can beat this. Uh, you can zombie it. You can use Sheer Hoshi Captain. You can use Magellan. Um, you can even just use Whitebeard Marco, Double Whitebeard Marco team, of course, works great. And what does Blackbeard actually do? Blackbeard is a int powerhouse driven character. His captain ability boosts the attack of driven characters by two times and if and boosts their health by 1.2 times. And if you're below 10% hit points, then he will boost your attack by 3.75 times. He's a 375 times attack booster if you're below 10% health. It can be very, very difficult to get below 10% health. You're basically going to need to use a special that drops your health or cuts your health by 90% in order to get down there. Uh, but if on a team that is prepared for that, you drop your health with a special, uh, and then you're going to burst after that. His Limit Break Sailors, if you're below 10% health, boost attack of all characters by 100, and makes Psy Orbs beneficial for himself. His special ability is super long. He basically reduces one turn of all defensive things. He reduces one turn of damage threshold, percent damage reduction, end of turn damage, percent health cut, uh, heal per turn, boost defense, damage no negation, and barrier, and attack boost, and enrage, and resilience. He basically gets rid of one turn of like every buff. So all the defensive buffs, barrier duration, attack boost, heal, enrage, and the turn damage. He just gets rid of one turn of like everything. And if you're below 10% health, he boosts your entire team by two times. It doesn't require any captain. It's just one turn reduction on everything. Goes down to a nine turn special. Super short nine turn special. And of course, 10%, I mean, two times attack boots for all characters. No tight restrictions if you're below 10% health. So obviously that 10% health is going to be very, very hard to get to. Uh, you're going to need to use a special that cuts your health in order to get down there. And a lot of times having heal per turn is going to make it so that way you're going to heal up too much. If you use someone like 
Legend Barto special to let you survive for that turn, then Legend Barto special is perfect for you're going to take go down to one health after you take a hit and use Blackbeard when you kill him after that. His limit break abilities are Enrage and a Barrier Penetration, which it's potentially worth it to keep to make two copies of Raid Blackbeard, one without Barrier Penetration and one with Barrier Penetration, because Barrier Penetration is bad if you have a little of it and good when you have a lot of it. So if you don't have a lot of characters with Barrier Pen and Limit Break, he can be a little annoying to do, since Barrier Penetration, as it is right now in the game, doesn't actually reduce the barrier, it just goes straight through, which can mess up your attacks if you're trying to actually get rid of a barrier with attacking. But Blackbeard, real nice, not too bad. Zombying it is actually a very reasonable strategy, goes pretty quickly, and it's two times skill ups right now while this is coming out. Uh, before we say goodbye, I also like to remind you guys here you might see the word Kickstarter up here. My wife is making a Kickstarter right now. They're making a, well, they've already made, and now they are raising funds in order to publish this, uh, all this art that they have right here. So if you're interested in supporting the stream and you want something as a thank you for supporting the stream, check it out. I'll have a link in the video description down below. You can get all this cool looking stuff. You can get prints sent to you and you can also get a coloring book of all the same stuff. So you can get a coloring book, you can get prints sent to you wherever you all, wherever you are. Check out their Kickstarter guys. I've been Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all stay beautiful.